Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the all new Thomas & Thomas Sextant. The Sextant replaced the very popular Exocet as TNT's high-end, high-performance, do-everything saltwater rod series. Stay tuned to see how it does. Thomas & Thomas has always been known for their saltwater rods. Back one or five owners ago, they were really at the top of the game in tarpon and definitely the most renowned saltwater rod company. So when they came out with the Exocet a few years ago, it was big news. And that quickly became their best-selling rod of all time. Now they've replaced it with the Sextant. And like most Thomas & Thomas rods, it's got a great classic name with a lot of heritage and a great build quality. So let's check that out first. Starting from the bottom, we've got a nice fighting butt. Classic TNT, it's a little bit taller than on some other rods. And that goes into this double uplocking anodized aluminum reel seat. I really like the way this rod tightens. It's just really easy to feel, super high quality reel seat here. And that goes into what you'd expect for a full wells grip on a saltwater rod. I would say in the scheme of full wells grips, this one's a little bit narrower up at the top than some of them. Obviously, super, super high grade cork, which we really like. Then we've got this beautiful blue blank. And in terms of overall construction, TNT is right up there with Winston and they just make a phenomenally built rod. Of course, Thomas & Thomas puts a serial number and an alignment dot, making it super easy to line up, saving you that little bit of time as you get set up. That goes into these reversed titanium stripping guides and recoil snake guides as we go up the rod. All in all, really well built, top-notch high-end componentry on this new Sextant. But now we're gonna take it out in the field and see how it casts. So starting at our first saltwater distance of 40 feet, you can tell how accurate this new Sextant is. I'm just able to hit the target all the time. It's got a great amount of feedback for a rod with this much power. But I will say it's not the most delicate rod. So if you're a wading bonefish guy and you find yourself making those little short shots all the time, there's probably a softer rod out there that will do it slightly better and more delicately, but you're not gonna find any more accuracy. It's just really good in close. Moving back to 60 feet, it's still really, really accurate. And I find that the rod is really dialed at the 60 foot distance with this amplitude bonefish line. It just does everything you want it to. Plenty of power, you could punch through the wind, get it all done. And of course, lots and lots of accuracy. Fantastic for wading and boat bonefish. This is gonna be your bread and butter distance in most saltwater scenarios. Last but not least is 80 feet. While I found there was a good amount of accuracy at the 80 foot distance, I did have to get used to it. I had to slow down my stroke a little bit, lengthen it a little bit, and you can definitely make that Hail Mary cast, but it's not the easiest cast in the world to make on the sextant. It's really more of a shorter to middle distance rod, unless you really, really have to. And that makes sense. That's what you're gonna want in the saltwater scenario. Really the only downside I could find while casting it is it's just a little heavier than I'd like it to be. In terms of action, they've got this dialed for exactly how you're gonna use it across all saltwater fishing situations. Hi guys, I wanted to pop in and let you know that these videos are fully funded by your purchases at our shop. If you find this video helpful and you wanna keep them coming, consider making your next gear purchase at tridentflyfishing.com. Now for our Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, the sextant is super accurate and short and middle distances and okay at longer distances and it earns a nine out of 10. In terms of components, this rod is super, super well built and they've spared no expense on components and it gets a 9.5 out of 10. Up next is distance and this rod gets it done, but you do have to change your casting stroke a little bit and slow it down. And I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. For grip, I like this grip a lot. It is totally fine, great cork, eight and a half out of 10.
In terms of looks, this is a very pretty rod and there's really not much out there in terms of production rods that's gonna be better and it earns a 10 out of 10. In terms of swing weight, this is where this sextant suffers a bit. It's got a swing weight of 88 gram meters squared, which is really way too high for an eight weight in 2021. And it earns a six out of 10. Up next is value. And this sextant retails for $975, which is definitely not a cheap rod, but you are getting really great workmanship. And in a world where we're seeing rods go over that thousand dollar mark, this doesn't seem that bad. All in all, I'm gonna say it's a seven and a half out of 10 for value. Last but not least is the cool factor. And TNT is definitely a company that's on the up and up. And this is a hot new rod and a flagship rod at that. And it earns a nine out of 10. And that leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 68, which puts it just behind some of our top finishing saltwater rods like the Scott Sector and the NRX Plus. And that feels about right because this rod is not cheap and moreover, it is just a little bit too heavy. Again, if you're sight fishing and not gonna be casting all day long blind casting, this is still an incredible tool and a beautiful and fabulously built rod at that. As with all the rods we review, this sextant ships for free from tridentflyfishing.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a comment in the box below. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.